was just compressed earth with blocks of concrete. It used to be a parking lot, hey Ron? Yes. It was in the parking lot, so it was really hard, and Ron just went through it with a pickaxe and removed everything and leveled it and, yeah, started building up the beds. Hmm. So it was quite something. All the bit like no, that's the point. I've I haven't ever seen the full realization of my of what I have in mind for the space. But within yeah, within two months, my plan is to you know um, when you plant seeds directly, uh, they kind of have to battle the elements right from the get go. And also your germination rates aren't hundred percent. You'll see some of those things didn't know, even come up. Yeah. But now I'll show you when you've actually got these things that have germinated, then you can go and put them in on the drippers in the beds you know yeah. so i mean with these with these heaps um we just built them with pallets so that it's sort of a almost a cubic meter and then you know we kind of get um a lot of garden waste from our own garden and then also from the neighbors so i just kind of give them the strip sucker and they put it outside the gate when they filled it up whenever and then um yeah we just kind of start to layer it in so you put a few bags of that and then horse manure um and you and uh, hay bales and things and kind of just layer it up and then give it a good watering and then leave it for about three weeks or a month and then kind of turn it over my brother's actually gone and uh introduced worms from the worm farm which mm. i'll show you in a moment um and we just as an experiment tried putting the worms in the compost heap and they absolutely exploded you know and they once the compost got worked into the beds mm. after a month there's still worms in the beds and the red wrigglers don't really live in soil they actually yeah. are composting worms but yeah. they've continued to do their thing so yeah this is just kind of an ongoing process and kind of always making sure that you're getting those garden waste streams to really just build up because you know a lot of people it's actually just a big hassle they need to kind of cart it away to the tip or whatever and there it's just you know lying there um and it it's got value and it's being wasted.